The following video is from the SR Lounge Natural Light Couples Photography Workshop. From planning and choosing your location, to posing and lighting your subjects, to composing and shooting the actual image, and finally, to post-producing a final professional product, we cover it all. The workshop includes two DVDs with nearly 90 high-definition videos and totals over eight hours of uninterrupted education. Also included are the 190 raw image exercise files which we'll be producing. You can learn more or purchase this workshop from the SR Lounge store by clicking the link below in the description. Let's get started with the video. Now, in all honesty, posing for the girls is going to be a bit more complex, and in general, girls are going to be a little more self-aware and self-conscious in regards to how they look, at least when compared to the dudes. So we want to help direct and pose our female subjects without bringing any attention to things that would make them feel self-conscious. This requires you to be a bit sensitive and to be aware of what you say and how you say it. So let's take a look at how we coach Jackie. The first thing I like to ask my girls though is, do you have a side that you prefer? And sorry dude, it's, it's always based on her. It's, <laughs> We don't ask the guys. <laughs> uh, I think I like this side. Okay. The left side. I think you look amazing on both sides, but mm -hmm. we always like to shoot from the side that you like the most. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of have a, a, a rule of thumb that's like we go based on the side that's parted, but your part is actually very symmetrical, so it wouldn't mm -hmm. matter from either side. So what we're going to do is you're always going to be on Ryan's left side, on this side that you're at right now. Okay. That way when we're shooting you, we're shooting you from the side that you like. And Ryan, you're always going to be on this side. Okay, now the way that we make girls look uh, very feminine on camera is we bring in the curves. You have amazing curves, but we have to make you stand and pose in a way that we can see them. So that means for girls, we never want you to stand flat-footed. If you're standing flat-footed, what happens to my girlish figure? It's straight down, right? Mm -hmm. Now what about this? Ooh, now it's like... Yeah. <laughs> so we always, yeah, right? I want to bring out your feminine side too, Ryan. <laughs> so generally what we like to do is you always want to kick the hip. Now, okay. typically we're always kicking the hip away from the camera because anything that's close to the camera is going to look bigger. Okay, so we want to always kick away from the hip, which generally means you're going to be kicking it on the inside, kind of right next to okay. Ryan. Just exactly. Okay. With the leg that kind of doesn't have the weight on it, right, with that other side, you typically want to kind of do something where it's more relaxed, like pointing down to the ground, relaxed in. Um, you can have it across the front. You can be dragging it from the back. But something that's going to fit that pose, but not just kind of sitting there because when you do like if I'm standing there and you know just waiting for something to happen if I'm in a line I'm never going to just let that foot be flat like this mm -hmm. I'm always going to put my weight on it and then it's going to kind of be more relaxed okay. I want to do the same thing okay. kind of bring in the journalism into the posing posing that looks natural all right now with your hands what we need to do is make sure they're never at our sides okay why because well, for guys, this might be a good thing, but if I bring my hand in, it kind of flattens out my bicep, which for me, I don't really work out as much as I should, so I, I kind of like that. I'm gonna walk around like this, so my arms look huge. All right, but for girls, we don't generally want that, no. right? You don't want your arms looking huge. Okay, so what we do is we always put the arms behind the back or on the hips or basically anything that just creates space. So the goal here is that there is actually space between this spot right here. I'm, kind of touchy-feely guys. You guys all right with that? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of my, okay. it's my Persian thing, all right? <laughs> okay, so on the hips is good, behind is good. You can have a hand on Ryan as long as we have that space. Okay. Generally want to avoid poses that kind of have your hands crunched together. Like like sometimes if I, if I were to put a hand on her shoulder but it's in too much, mm -hmm. you're gonna get that same effect, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's basically it. So kick the hips, give me some curve. Ryan, you can help her out in that by whenever we're posing you guys, you always tug in tight on the hips, you know what I mean? Whether she's facing you, whether you guys are in a V up, which we'll explain in a second, you're always gonna be pulling in tight, okay? And that's basically it. Other than that, when we have you guys posing together and you're looking at the camera, we typically do a slight tilt towards each other. Not the sleepy tilt where you're like falling asleep on each other's shoulders, but just a little tilt because otherwise it has this weird kind of distant emotional feeling like you guys don't like each other, we don't want that, all right? That's it. You have any questions? Good? That's it as far as the solo guidance that I give each person individually. The rest of the posing guidance will be given once we get these two together in the first foundation pose, the V-up, which we're going to go to shortly. 